If I look here, there is a mass in here. If I look here, it's independent of the mass. Why is there a mass in here? That is very easy to see. If I take a spring and I extend the spring over a certain distance, then there is a certain force that I feel. That force is independent of the mass that I put at the end of the spring. The spring doesn't know what the mass is you're going to put on. All it knows is I am too long and I want to go back to equilibrium. That force is a fixed force. If I double the mass, that fixed force will give, on double the mass, half the acceleration. If the acceleration goes down, the period of oscillation goes up. It's very clear. So you can immediately see that with a spring, the mass must enter into the period. Now go to the pendulum. If I double the mass of my bob at the end of a pendulum, then the vertical component of the tension will also double. That means this restoring force, which is proportional with the tension, will also double. So now the restoring force doubles, and the mass doubles, the acceleration remains the same, the period remains the same. So you can simply argue that there should be no mass in here, and there isn't. 